the safest for you to answer. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell my own story right now because I'm going to tell a very, uh, someone else's story. Um, so, uh, Jason Manns, <laughs> you know this story? <laughs> Do you know Jason Manns' story? Oh, some of you do, the rest of you don't. Um, so Jason was in Lund in uh, Birmingham last week, and he was sitting in his in his room in his hotel room. This is what relates to your question. Playing his guitar, and he gets up, goes to the bathroom, comes back, and there's a fresh, unopened. I like the term fresh in this context. <laughs> condom sitting on his chair, which is not his, which did not fall out of his pocket. Um, and he was trying to figure out what type of ghost would have done that. And we never got to the bottom, we never figured out what, what kind of ghost would do that. Um, obviously want a safety-minded ghost. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hey, Misha. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, I was wondering, when you knew that you were uh, going to get the role uh, as Castiel, the angel, yes. how did you prepare for it, and um, how was the first shooting day of the first episode with you in it? Um, it I, I prepared for it by... I think I prepared for it by kind of thinking Oh shit, how do I do this? <laughs> uh, I didn't know really how to play. It's, fun, it's a funny thing because I did take some acting classes and read some acting books and thought about acting a little bit along the way. And what everyone tells you is you've got to, you know, get into the character, think like the character thinks, find, you know, human traits that are like yours that, you know, relate to the character. But what they never prepare you for is when you're playing a non-human character. When you're an angel. There's no, there's no set way to do that. So I was kind of, I was kind of at a loss. I actually did, I was, a client, I was hiking up on this mountain. This is, a, I'm super embarrassed to admit this and I don't know why I'm gonna carry on, but <laughs> I was up on the top, I was on a hike and I up on the top of this mountain and I got to the peak and I sat down on a rock and I kind of looked out over everything, and I just sat there for a little while, and I thought, this was Castiel's perspective before he came to Earth. Like He was just up from a very, very great distance, looking down, and had no real connection, just this kind of overview of the things that were going on, but he wasn't involved. That was actually one thing, and I sat there for quite a while. That was one thing that I did. Um, and then I also developed my deep, gravelly cast voice. Uh, that was another la layer of preparation that I did. Um, and then on the first day of shooting, uh, I still hadn't really watched much of the show when I got there, so I didn't really quite understand how, how it works with supernatural characters on the show. And Kim Manners was directing, and uh, we did the first take of the scene. And he came up to me and he, his note was, let's try that again, but try not to be so spooky. <laughs> and so it was a little weird. I was trying to be less spooky in the first, uh, in the first day of shooting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi. Hi. So um, I think you already... Is my fly undone? I can... <laughs> <laughs> these, these jeans... Like, I've noticed three times today, the fly keeps on falling down. So while I'm talking, I'm, part of my brain is thinking, has my fly fallen down again? So if I keep touching my crotch, that's my excuse. I didn't mean to cut you off. I think you already asked a little bit of my question because I wanted to ask why Cassiel didn't fight back. When